flu. He died yesterday after a year and a half long battle with cancer. Vern Glenn takes a look back at the career of a player whose accomplishments off the field somehow surpass his amazing feats on the field. Vita was the best player in Bay Area history in terms of all the guys who played for both the Giants and A's. Vita Blue made his big league debut when he was only 19 years old. Two years later, he was the American League Cy Young and most valuable player. Vita Blue was to the 70s what Juan Marshall was to the 60s. I tried to throw left-handed because of him. <laughs> Didn't always work out. Vita helped the A's win three straight World Series titles in the 1970s. He was at the Coliseum last month for the 50th anniversary of the 1973 team. Charlie Finley tried to create a nickname, True Blue, and Vita said, no way, I don't want any part of that. You don't mess with Vita Blue. It's the best name in baseball. You don't give him a nickname. A nickname wasn't the only thing Vita and Charlie Finley didn't agree on. When they couldn't come to terms on a new contract, Finley traded Vita across the bay. He was so good when the Ace traded him to the Giants. The Giants gave up seven players to Oakland. He was named an All-Star three times with the Giants and on track for the Hall of Fame. But his career was derailed when he was suspended for the 1984 season after pleading guilty to cocaine possession. Vita Blue is not a bad person. Vita Blue has used, used bad judgment and, and used bad, bad judgment on more than one occasion, and that's okay. He had some issues along the way, of course, but you look at today's pitchers, they're not many better than Vita Blue, if at all. A's legend Dave Stewart tweeted the sound about Blue. Vita Blue, rest in peace, my mentor, hero, and friend. I remember watching a 19-year-old phenom dominate baseball and at the same time alter my life. There are no words for what you have meant to me and so many others.